hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have yet another makeup look for you guys i'm really enjoying filming these makeup videos i'm really enjoying playing with makeup and doing stuff out of my comfort zone as i don't really wear eyeshadows and such and you really wear them if i'm going somewhere i'm going out something special and today i have this look for you if you can tell and again it is very purple based and this is inspired by a video i saw on nikki tutorials or i don't think it was from nikki i think it was on the tarte instagram page and but they uh, nikki was using tarte products and she was using a liquid eyeshadow and i liked what she did with it so i don't actually own any liquid eyeshadows but i do own many liquid lipsticks so i've used kat von D's requiem on the outsides of my eyes to create this little look for you today and in this video i'm going to show you how i did it this i will already be done as i was, like, I was just playing with makeup at before I started filming so I was coming up with a look but I will be completing this eye for you and yeah I really like this look I think it's fun I think it's different you could wear it for festivals you could wear it for prom you could wear it for a night out you could wear it for whatever a wedding whatever you feel like it and you could adjust this to whatever color you wanted so if you wanted to do browns you could say use Kat Von D's Lolita as your base or a Milani lipstick or a NYX lipstick whatever so you can change this around but i just i really like purple at the moment purple is my jam anyway let's get into this video and i hope you enjoy this little eye look that i've created so i've just completed my right eye so now i'm gonna go in and do the left eye and show you how i created this look and this is gonna be my second festival look um i created this off camera because um, I was having a little bit of a play and I was inspired by a Nikki Tutorials little clip that came up on my Instagram where she used like, liquid lipsticks or some sort of like liquid eyeshadow on her eye and I thought I don't have any liquid eyeshadows but I do have liquid lipstick so this outer lighter purple section here is all liquid lipstick which I think is really cool. And the liquid lipstick I used was Requiem, which is one of my favourites to use on the eyes, just because on the lips it doesn't really suit me, but on the eyes I think it looks really pretty. So I'm also going to be using my Naked Smoky palette, which came out 2015, I think. And I'm only using um, two shades in the palette, and then I am going in with my Tarte Showstopper palette and using the shimmery purple that is in here to complete the look. So the first thing, I've primed my eyes as you saw me doing and then I'm going to take this little bit of tissue that has a little bit of eyeshadow on it and that's what I used to create the point and you're just going to go in and lay that at the angle that you want it to lie low. And then I'm just going in with a little fluffy brush, taking or mixing the two colours, Smolder and Password, and placing that solely in this crease area. And then you also have your angle. Then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my Requiem and a tiny detail brush open that bad boy up and i am going to fill in the rest of my lid with this i don't know how easy this is going to be on this eye we will see so you're going to start from the inner corner and sort of follow that crease And then with a lip brush, I just filled in the rest of the eye. Like so. You kind of want to leave that to dry a little bit, especially that outer corner. But the inner corner doesn't really matter so much, the sort of tackier that is, the better. Then I'm going to go in with just that shimmery purple shade in this palette and taking that out just on a flat brush and start patting that into the lid sort of over the top of that purple. And 
and that is the finished eye look for the minute now I'm gonna add some liner as well I think I think just for the fun of it so I'm just taking the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Transylvania and I'm gonna take that little liner brush again so I'm taking that on a little liner brush I'm just gonna line some slight darkness to the eye and then the lashes that I'm going to take are just by eye candy these are the 008 I just feel like these are cute they're voluminous they're long and I just feel like with this look because this being such a bold look these are going to look really cool so I'm just going to do what I normally do and just curl my lilac my lilashes I'm calling my lilashes but I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes, put some primer and mascara on, and then put the falsies on, and then we will get moving with the face. Okay, so now that we have huge lashes on, we're gonna get started on the face. So I am going to put some primer on. I'm just gonna take my Benefit Professional Primer, put a little pea-sized amount of that on my hand, and then take that in my forehead and my t-zone just to make sure everything stays how I want it to stay and I'm gonna go in with my It Cosmetics CC cream just because I feel like the eyes are so big and heavy that we should keep the foundation a little bit more dewy and light but that's my preference if you guys want your face to be as flawless and as beautiful as ever you use whatever foundation you want to use I'm just gonna buff that in with a beauty blender and I'm gonna take my trusty age rewind by Maybelline and put that under the eyes and on the demon spot and then with the beauty blender per usual I'm just going to take my Mina powder this is actually in color 202 I picked up a new one when I went out to London yesterday so if you're looking for this, this is what they look like and then these shades are just on the side of the box and that mine is in shade 202 it's one of the lightest ones but it has sort of like a yellow undertone to it which is what I like to my foundation and it's how when I tan or when I have fake tan on my skin has a yellow undertone to it I'm like a Simpson I'm going to do what I usually do where I put my bronzer on and then I put highlight on and then I put blush on so I don't need too much bronzer because I don't really want to go over the top on the face because the eyes are so heavy and out there I just want to stick to quite a natural face going with my blush from my palette and the highlight from the palette again I'm gonna get some new ones when I'm in America because I feel like using the same one every week is a bit boring so just gonna put some highlight on a little bit on my nose and then just under the brow bone and a little bit in the tear duct and then go in with some blush I apologize for the background noise it is my mum's birthday today and so she's had a phone call and she's talking to her mum at the moment about what we might do today. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the background noise. So we are blushed, we are bronzed, we are highlighted, but at the moment we also have no eyebrows on. So once I discover where my eyebrow brush is, we will put those on. Eyebrow brush has been found. So we're just going to do, or I'm just going <laughs> to, not but you're not helping me with this. But I'm just going to do what I usually do with my brows and just fill in, as you've seen a million times by now in my videos, I fill in the outer part of my brow. And on this one I do the same. And so this one is that I also have some bald spots to fill in. Just along the bottom and along the top. And then, as usual, I will fill that in with my Benefit Gimme Brow. 
So now that the rest of the face is finished, I just need to do the under eye, set, or not do the under eye, set the under eyes with a little bit of my powder on a little brush. This is an IT Cosmetics, I think it's a Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush, this is number 7. This came in a set that I bought from IT Cosmetics through QVC. And then the final thing to do is to set, or not set, put a little bit of that colour from the Tarte palette just under the eyes, just to blend everything together. And the final thing is to take any mascara, or if you don't want to put mascara on your under eyes, then don't. But I'm just going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And then if you want to, you can go in with a lipstick, any colour. I think I would probably go in with this dark purple. I'm not going to put any on because I actually now need to take this all off and get ready for the day normally. But I think this is a really cool look and I'm happy I came up with this and I think it's different and it's pretty and it's not something you see every day and because there's a liquid lipstick in there this isn't going to budge no matter what. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video.